Hi guys, uh, Moses from Mr. Benetti, uh, uh, the Facebook, uh, I'm sorry, YouTube, uh, Mr. Benetti uh, uh, channel. I'm back because people have asked me uh, what the signal looks like from a Benetti machine on a scope. Uh, so I'm going to show you how I scope my signal. Uh, basically what you see here attached to uh, one of my high voltage leads on my uh, Benetti machine is a uh, just a piece of PVC tube with some high voltage wire going inside. The end is kind of capped off and taped off from high voltage as much as possible. I have a pipe cap on the end of my PVC tube because it used to I used to be an oil filled capacitor I made out of commercial capacitors. Uh, so I just left that cap on there. Doesn't necessarily need to be. And I have a couple turns of uh, number 18 enamel wire on the outside. You could just use a single sheet of aluminum tape if you want. Uh, I got the machine running fairly slow. Uh, also have the uh, the uh, electrodes far enough apart so you can hear them crackling usually, but you don't want it to spark too much. You're gonna make too much high voltage and uh, interfere with your uh, interfere with your uh, oscilloscope or possibly damage it. So you hear it's crackling now, but it's not really sparking that you can really see it. Uh, and I basically made a simple transformer. It's a single turn inside of thick, heavy wire. I'm using a 100,000 volt high voltage wire. You don't necessarily need that. It's a fairly thick schedule, a 40 uh, two inch PVC tube I'm using. Uh, and I have a couple turns of wire on the outside. Like I said, you don't really need any turns. One turn will do. Piece of tape on the outside, metal tape will do. Uh, I've got my uh, lead from my, my probe from my uh, oscilloscope, the main probe is hooked to one of the two wires, the other one's just hanging there in the air right now, and I've got the ground hooked up to the actual hot, the mains ground, and here's the signal on the scope, I'm not triggering on anything so it's all over the place, but what I wanted you guys to see is that the voltage out of a Benetti or a Wenshurst or any of these type of machines is all over the map, you don't get a continuous voltage, you see you're peaking uh, I have it on 50 volts of division, so you see you're going between 20 and 50 volts, and then you're peaking all the way up to hundreds of volts. We'll measure it right now and see what the uh, peak is. So you see sometimes we're peaking at over almost 500 volts and uh, down to negative 4 and so on. Of course, we're getting an AC signal out, even though it's a, a pulse DC because it is a transformer. And I'm not rectifying the output, uh, so you're getting an AC signal, but that's pretty much a signal on the machine. It's all over the place. Starts off relatively low, uh, you know, low high voltages and then jumps up to the top of the map. So when you're getting, you know, your uh, 20 centimeter sparks or your two inch sparks, depending on how big your machine is, that's because your caps are filling at the peak high voltage, not because uh, you're continuously putting out, you know, 100,000 volts or whatever your machine produces. This one produces 200,000 volts peak. Uh, but it, you see it's not there all the time, it's only peaking at that. So when I uh, did my uh, current videos the other day, uh, and you saw at 2000 RPM, I was putting up uh, a little bit over 600 uh, 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 micro uh, amperes out. You can't say, well, I've got 600 micro amperes coming out and I got 200,000 volts, I'm doing uh, 60 watts. The uh, answer is, uh, 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 you're not, uh, or, or actually that's, uh, 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 that's, uh, what is that, almost uh, 120 watts. You're not getting that because uh, you have to take the average of your voltage and you see the average is much smaller. You're getting peaks all over, you're getting voltage all over the place. And, and these peaks, these huge peaks, the peaks are what you're getting your sparks from in your capacitors, uh, but your, that's not your continuous voltage. Your, your, if you wanted to figure out what your power you're getting is, it's your peak, uh, it's your average of your peak voltages times your, uh, times your current. So it's much lower than you would think. And again, I'm not triggering on anything because I wanted to see how all over the place the signal is. It's also very difficult to pick something to trigger on with a signal like this, but uh, again, that is what your signal looks like if we uh, change the time a little bit. You can see the peaks are all over the place. It starts off pretty low, pretty low, pretty low peak, pretty low, pretty low peak, and so on. And this is kind of what the shape looks like. Oh, there it is, stopped. 
and going again. And again, you see it was eight volts and then three, over 300. Every now and then you'll see it jump up to almost 500 on this guy. You know, and, and the frequency is all over the place and changing constantly, as you can see. So again, that's that's what your signal looks like. If you if if you if you were uh, use a resistor or something, a large resistor on there, and you could if you get it sparking better, then you would also see uh, resonant shock waves going in there. Look like uh, when you excite a uh, when when you excite an inductor with a, a square wave, it's very similar to that signal. You're not seeing on this because I'm not you know it's, it's not sparking very hard. But if uh, if you could scope that without killing your scope. Again, probably a large resistor on the output of this transformer would do the trick. You would also see those shock waves too. Uh, in it, but it basically, it was the same signal with a couple of resonant shock waves in the middle and pretty much the same thing. Again, voltage starting out relatively low and then peaking really high and then back to pretty low. So again, your average voltage is not what your uh, highest voltage out of these machines is. And, that's why when you're produ when you know what your current is and if you know what your peak voltage is, that's not your power. You can't just multiply the two.